everyone. Uh, thank you so much for coming this evening. Uh, my name is Emily Kennedy, and I am a cellist, a composer, and an improviser. Um, and I like to think overall collaborator. I'm also used to being in front of people with a big fiddle <laughs> kind of shielding me from the audience. So this is a relatively new thing for me. <laughs> Um, but it's great to see so many people out supporting the small family that we've kind of built through going through this program. And I just want to I just want to thank Sarah and the whole ArtsLink crew for one just establishing this really important and like super helpful program, um, and two for helping guide me through this really nebulous aspect of my practice. It's been very eye opening. So thank you. Yeah. Um, this is my third year living in Fredericton. I moved back to New Brunswick after completing my undergrad and my master's at the University of Ottawa as well as Wilfrid Laurier University. A year and a half ago, I decided to take the plunge and become a freelance cellist. Um, and so far, it's been going fairly well. Um, last year, I was the emerging artist in residence at UMB. Thank you, Richard, um, where I was able to learn about concert curation. Um, I was able to organize a few concerts through the Fredericton community. Um, this year, I, I have a full private teaching studio. I am currently teaching cello at Mount Allison University. And I freelance playing with ensembles like Symphony New Brunswick, um, Atlantic Symphonia a few times, uh, the Clia String Quartet I've played uh, through UMB's music series, Music, UM music UMB, um, and Resonance, uh, an ensemble based in St. John. I came to Catapult not quite out of desperation, but almost, because I was feeling really stretched thin from um, all the different demands and responsibilities that you're kind of thrown at when you become a freelance artist. Um, I had a really hard time prioritizing my own projects. I had no sweet clue what I was going to do when tax season rolled around. Um, and I had a really hard time branding myself um, because I'm really involved with a lot of different kinds of projects on top of the things that I had mentioned earlier. Um, I'm involved with a lot of, I like to call them my passion projects, but they're often things that aren't necessarily as financially profitable. So I've been trying to expand my own notion of what it means to be a cellist by taking on projects that aren't necessarily your traditional uh, Bach and Beethoven recital. Um, of course, I still do those, and I love them, but I'm just trying to um, find a way to make classical music more accessible by incorporating it in other genres, um, presenting concerts in untraditional spaces where you wouldn't necessarily expect them, um, and breaking down the barrier between the audience and the performer in my attempt to demystify it and make it seem more approachable to people. Um, so I do a few different things. I, I play in bands. I've toured uh, New Brunswick and Ontario with a band called Property. Um, I have my own project uh, with violist Mark Klein called Palmer, where we blend songwriting and classical compositions. Um, I play in an improv trio with Indigo and Aaron, who are both here this evening, called Terroir. Um, I've been recently dipping my toes into performance art um, that I was exposed to while doing a program in the UK this summer. Um, and I've always really enjoyed doing free improvisation. I also really love collaborating across disciplines. I recently finished a project with a poet and a textile artist. You may see a, f a few photos of them later, um, where we translated each other's works uh, into different mediums, kind of like a game of telephone. Um, and a couple of years ago, I was a giddy child where I had the, the pleasure to be able to collaborate with a contemporary dancer through um, Connection Dance's perspective. So you can see I, my interests are pretty diverse. I often feel like I have little tendrils and different audiences um, in different scenes. Coming through Catapult, uh, it's taught me that all of this diversity is all right. Um, that all of these interests just give me more to offer as an artist. I used to have 
this notion of the starving artist as being what it means to be truly devoted to your craft. And like, I, I understand it's not. Um, <laughs> thank you <laughs> for highlighting that. <laughs> um, it's really important to take on work that can give you the freedom to explore um, your own personal interests and path. Uh, Catapult has also given me the confidence to treat myself as a professional and has shown me that there are support systems and funding opportunities out there for artists and that people recognize that art and culture is necessary for a healthy and thriving community. Knowing this and having some newfound entrepreneurial skills um, has mentally freed me from the idea that there is only one kind of career path, say that I could only be an orchestral cellist or only be a salaried teacher. I've learned how to better manage my time, how to prioritize the work that I need to do, and I've been given tools to help tell my story. And regarding tax season the other day, I got QuickBooks. <laughs> Thanks again. <laughs> So I'm still in the process of digesting all the things that I've learned, and I'm sure I will be for a really long time. So again, thank you so much. Um, if you would like to keep in touch, if you'd like to see what I've been up to or what I will be up to, um, I welcome you to visit my website. It's just Emily Kennedy, Emily Dash Kennedy, sorry. Or you can follow me on Instagram nowadays. It seems like everyone's on Instagram. Um, I'm very open to collaborating, so if you have any projects where you feel that some cello would be appropriate, <laughs> please feel free to get in touch. And to finish this off, we were asked to ask something of the audience. So I would like to extend the invitation for all of you to just, I'm sure you already do, but to go out and try as much as possible to attend shows, concerts, events, festivals because that's why we do what we do. We do it so that we can share it with you and to connect and have a really beautiful experience. So hopefully I'll see you out there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>